Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you how to perform a PID tuning. So PID stands for Proportional Integral Derivative. This is a series of three values that our machines utilize to maintain an accurate temperature on the hot end nozzle. Our firmware comes equipped with defaults, but it's often beneficial to recalibrate these to better suit the printing circumstances that we find ourselves in. Whether you've equipped your machine with an E3D silicon sock or are simply printing with filaments that have differing requirements for temperature than the PLA defaults the machine has come calibrated with, uh, this, is, this is a very beneficial process to go through. If you've ever sat and watched a print while it progresses, you've probably noticed that the hot end nozzle temperature will vary slightly above to slightly below the target temp that we set for it. And depending on the filament you're using, this can actually cause some inconsistencies in the extrusion that our machine puts out. Retuning these values will help stabilize that temperature and make sure your prints are much more consistent than they might have otherwise been. The first thing we're gonna do is plug our machine in and power it up. Next, you wanna locate your USB cable and firmly press it into the port on the top of the Rambo case on the back of your machine. We'll then connect the other end to our PC. So now that we have our printer connected to our computer via the USB cable, we're gonna open Pronter Face. Then we're gonna come here to this drop down menu and select the COM port associated with our printer. If you're not sure which port this is, you can actually disconnect the USB cable Hit the port button to rescan ports, which should remove one of the items from this drop down list. Make note of which ones remain, reconnect your USB cable, rescan the ports by hitting the port button, and take note of which one was added with your uh, printer reconnected. Uh, that should be the one that's associated with your printer. And once you've got the right one selected, hit connect, and you should get a uh, string of information like this letting you know that essentially Pronterface has successfully connected to your printer. So what we're going to be using Pronterface for here is to manually send some commands to our printer. The one we're going to be using is the M303 command, which will do the PID auto-tune. We're then going to hit space, type in a capital E and the number zero, which will tell the firmware to run this command on the first nozzle, which is our hot end. Next, we're gonna hit the space and type a capital S, and we're gonna follow this with the temperature that we want this auto-tune to run for. Uh, so for me, I'm gonna do this for 190 degrees Celsius, and we just have to type 190 in there. And you can run this auto-tune uh, procedure for any temperature. Like if there's a variety of materials that you want to run, you can use the same command with different temperature values and then make note of the P, I, and D numbers that it gives you at the end of the auto-tune process. And then, as we'll discuss after we finish this, uh, you can plug those different settings into your slicing software. So for now, we're just going to run this auto-tune process on our nozzle for 190 degrees. And then we can also hit space, type a capital C, and then put a number here to tell it to run uh, a specific number of iterations for this auto-tune. Uh, generally, a, a ton are not required. Uh, obviously, the more iterations of this test you do, the more accurate the numbers it gets will be. So we'll go ahead and plug a 10 in here. So it'll cycle through the temperature 10 different times and average the results. So now that we have that in here, we have M303 space E0 space S190 space C10. Now we're going to send these to the printer, and you can see we get a confirmation that the auto-tune has started. Now you're basically going to want to step away from the computer and let this procedure complete. Um, it will take a few minutes. It's not an extremely long time, but if you go watch the uh, screen on your printer, you'll see that it will start heating the hot end and cycle up to around 190 degrees, go slightly over, and then fall back down below. And it'll do this 10 different times, and then give us some numbers at the end. So our tuning finished here. Uh, this took approximately six minutes for me to do this with uh, the 10 iterations that we uh, specified. And you can see here that these are our values. This is what we're actually looking for. And you can see it's a KP, a KI, and a KD. And this is our P, I, and D values. Now what you wanna do is write these down. You wanna keep a little notebook next to your printer 
and keep these values written down. Now for me, I'll write this down as 190C and then a P value of 21.61, an I value of 1.59, and a D value of 73.46. Now what we're gonna do is then take these values and plug them in to either our machine directly or into our slicing software. Now previously we weren't able to save this information directly to our EEPROM, but allegedly in the new version of the, the MK2 firmware we can. And you can do this with an M500 command uh, if, if you want to do a little bit of looking into that for yourself, but we're not going to cover that for now because I think that's still kind of an unknown as far as the firmware is concerned. So for now, we're going to go ahead and exit out of Pronerface without doing anything else. Uh, you can first disconnect from your printer. It'll give you a conf confirmation thing here that it disconnected. And we're going to go ahead and close Pronerface. Now what I'm going to do is show you how we can use these PID tuning values in our slicing software. So here we are in Slicer with everyone's favorite model. And we're going to come up to the Printer Settings tab and then go to the Custom G Code section. And you see we have a start and end G code block here. We're going to create a line after that M83 command and then type in the command that's going to set those PID values for this profile. So we'll type in a capital M301, a space, then a capital P with the value that we got for our P, a capital I with the value we got for our I, and then a capital D with the value that we got for our D and you want to make sure there's no space between the capital letter and the value associated with it. Uh, beyond that, there's nothing else we have to do. If you want, you can annotate this with a semicolon and just type in that this is your, uh, your, your PID tuning value if you'd like. Uh, nothing after that semicolon will be actually read by the firmware, so it's fine to do that to keep everything uh, identified so if you ever come back to this you can understand what you did previously. Now one thing you want to do is save these because this profile will only be appropriate for use with filaments that use the temperature that your tuning was done at. So for this, uh, like I have here, if this value was done with an auto-tune set at 190 degrees C, we're going to want to make sure the profile reflects that so we can uh, reference it later. So there we go, whenever we pull this profile up, we'll have our PID tunings with our actual values, not our X's obviously. And you wanna make sure that you keep track of these profiles. It's, it's a very good habit to develop because we can have different tunings, like say if I wanna come down to this one and we want to enter uh, a PID tuning for you know a, a different setup and say this is for uh, 210 degrees that we run with a different filament, uh, we're going to want to save these and keep them uh, clearly labeled so we can keep track of everything. And we're also going to want to make sure that we're using the correct printer profile with the relevant filament profile. So like that, if we would have had our, our 190 degree PID tuning with a 215 degree nozzle temperature, uh, it's going to cause us some problems. It's not going to be catastrophic, but we're going to be worse off than if we hadn't done this tuning in the first place. So make sure you keep all that stuff straight and organized. So now we're going to take a look at Simplify 3D and show you where to enter these values in here. So now here we have a file. It just happens to be what I like previously sliced uh, for some tests. And we're going to select the profile that we want this PID tuning to be associated with and hit Edit Process Settings. We'll then come to the Scripts tab, and similar to Slicer, we're going to create a new line in here. After this G80 code, enter our one M301 code, and then our P, I, and D values, just like we did in Slicer. And this will also be the same. We want to make sure that we save this in a profile that's clearly labeled, uh, save as new profile and we could we could label it like MK2 190 degree uh, tuning and I'm not going to save that but you could save that there and you want to keep these organized uh, it's it's really important and you want to make sure you have this the correct profile selected for the filament and temperature combinations that you're going to be using 
But that's where that goes in here. On the starting script tab, uh, I generally put it after the G80 command. There's a little bit of debate about where exactly these are supposed to be in here, but mine, mine have worked fine put in that line there. So that's it. As you see, it's a fairly simple thing to do. Uh, it doesn't take all that much time, and it certainly doesn't take that much effort. Uh, if you're like me, the uh, majority of the effort involves getting my printer close enough to a computer to, uh, to perform the process. Uh, so it's definitely time well spent if you're looking to improve the uh, consistency of your prints and uh, kind of uh, just further calibrate your machine to improve your results. Um, as always, if you found this video interesting or useful, uh, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.